Grabe naman, Kuya Mike, you the man! Galing. Galing, no? Bo, di kayo responsive, ha? Galing nila, di ba? Yes, yes. Um, hello? Okay lang po ba na magkwento ako sa inyo? Po ako dito. Ah, uh, hindi naman po ito once upon a time. Ano na naman po ito, eh? Mamaya, magkakantahan tayo. Pero, saglit lang. Kailangan lang ng konting, you know. Sige. So, kanina ang ganda-ganda nung ginawa nila Kuya Mike, di ba? Kuya Mike is the man. Kasi, ano yun? May ginawa sila eh. Pinagsama-sama nila yung iba't ibang mga kanta. Ano nga ba tawag mo dun yung... Me, me, bli. Me, me, ano yun? Sorry po. Me, thank you po, Lolo. Thank you po. Yay! Medley. So, medley. Pero yung mga kanta po pala yun ni Father Ontiveros. Sino ba si Father Ontiveros? Balita ko, si Father Ontiveros daw ay yung kauna-unahang Hesuita na nag-compose ng mga Filipino na mga kanta. Wow! Sobrang wow! Astig po nun, di ba? Very responsive na po kayo. Thank you. Yay. Um, so, yun. Kasi sabi po sa akin, nung, nung minsan nag-uusap kami ng lolo ko, ang pangalan po ng lolo ko ay si Lolo Sindoy, nag-uusap po siya, uh, kaming dalawa. Tapos sabi niya, na dati daw, yung mga ano, yung mga misa, nasa Latin. Totoo po ba yun? Naabutan niyo po ba? Oh! Ibig po sabihin, kasing tanda niyo po si lolo at si lola. 90 plus na po si lolo eh. Yun. Anyway po, um, yun, so Latin. Tapos, sa panguna kasi ni Father Eduardo Ontiveros, di ba, naging Tagalog, etc. Tapos yun, aba, sinabi niya sa Tinig Barangka at saka sa Pansol Choir na, tara, tara, mag-practice tayo. At doon lumaganap po yung Filipino music na sa liturgy. Kaya tinagurian si Father Eduardo Ontiveros na Father of Philippine Liturgical Music. Galing, galing, galing ni Father Eddie, no? Grabe, biro niyo po yun. Anyway, so, sana, paglaki ko po, maging tulad ako ni Father Eddie na, alam mo yun, nakakapagpadasal po ng mga tao gamit po ng mga, mga, mga songs, mga pagpiano. Siguro, magsimula na nga tayo, medyo nagiging boring na po ata ako sa inyo, eh. Anyway, ay, Kuya Mike, gusto ko pong magpa... Papa-confirm ko lang po yung ano yung inaaral ko po sa bahay kasi may bago pong piano na binili si Mama. Um, yung favorite song ko po na ano pag-aala ala ala. Okay, sige. So Ito po 'yan ha. Amen. 
Galing-galing talaga nila. Parang, alam mo yun, talagang, ang matawag mo, harmony, di ba? Talagang ano. Ayun, ah, nung minsan, um, yung teacher ko po sa CLE, nagpa-show and tell, tapos sabi ko, uh, sabi niya, yung pinakamalaking something, oh, dinala ko pinakamalaking rosaryo po. <laughs> Paano kaya magdasal? Hey, Robert, talagang malaking-malaki po eh. Eh, meron din po akong nakita, may malaking picture. Eh, dito po, naalala ko po yung lola ko. Yung si lola, um, lola Karin. Yeah, Ganyan, taga late po yun. Na, pumunta-punta po kami sa late every every year. So, yun. Na, nung minsan nakita ko na ang dami-daming mga picture na iba't-ibang mga picture si lola ng mga santo. Ano nga bang tawag niyo dun? Stan... Stantita? Stan, st- stampita. Stampita. Ayun. So, yung, kasi ako mahilig ako mag-collect ng mga Pokemon na mga cards. Eh ako, yung, eh, yung tita ko, ito, mga stampita. Alam mo, iba't ibang mga uri talaga. Aba, merong iba't ibang uri na Mama Mary. ba? Diba? Uh, merong maputi, na hindi tulad ko, may maitim, tapos merong um, parang umaapak ata ng ahas, tapos meron din naka-blue. Ang ganda-ganda, ang dami-dami niya mga stampita. So, pag nag, nagdadasal po siya, Ayun, um, kaharap niya yung mga iba't ibang mga stampita na yun. Eh, minsan pag nagdadasal po kami, kasama namin buong pamilya namin, eh, secret na lang natin na, pero minsan yung tatay ko nakakatulog. <laughs> Ay, salagot sa kay Lola. Sabihin ko, Lola, nakakatulog po si Papa. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Noel Cabangon. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Bago po, po. Bago po magpatuloy, nais ko lang pong kasalamatan ng JESCOM at pati ng uh, happy anniversary. Uh, mahal, uh, napakahalaga po ng JESCOM sa akin dahil noong mga panahon po na kumakatok po ako sa pintuan ng mga recording companies, ang JESCOM lang po ang nagbukas ng pintuan. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po. Ito sa pong, uh, pong paalaala para sa ating mga Pilipino na nagmamahal sa ating bayan. Ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Minamahal ko ang bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin Tumatawid ako sa tamang tawiran Sumasakay ako sa tamang sakayan Pumipila at di nakikipagunahan At di ako masiga-siga sa lansangan Nagbababa ako sa tamang babaan Hindi nakahambalang, parang walang pakialam Pinagbibigyan kong mga tumatawid sa kalsada Humihinto ako pag ang ilaw ay pula Pagkat ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Minamahal kong bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin Wow, wow Hindi ako nangungotong o nagbibigay ng lagay Tikat lamang ang tinatanggap kung ipinibigay Ako'y nakatayo doon mismo sa kanto At di nagtatago sa ilalim ng puno Hindi ako nagkakalat ng basura sa lansangan Hindi pumubuga ng usok ang aking sasakyan Inaayos kong mga kalat sa basurahan Inaalagaan ko ang ating kapaligiran Pagkat ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Minamahal kong bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin Wow, wow Mga kabataan Lagi akong nakikinig sa aking mga magulang kaya pag-aaral ay aking pinagbubutihan Hindi ako gumagamit ng bawal na gamot I hate drugs O kaya ay tumatambay at sa skwela ay di pumapasok Ipinagtatanggol ko ang Aking karangalan Pagkat ito lamang Ang tangi kong kayamanan Di ko ipinibenta Ang ating kinabukasan Ang boto ko'y aking Pinahahalagahan Pagkat ako'y Isang mabuting Pilipino Kayo rin po ba? Minamahal ko bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin 
sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin. Wow, wow. Tulad po nang nakagawian, maaari po bang mag-request? Maaari po tayo po tumayo lahat? Yung mga kaya lang pong tumayo. Pagod na ako kayo sa kaupo. Baka sa 2022 ay uh, lalo nyo ang tumakbong uh, official ng uh, Pilipinas. Uh, gusto nyo tumakbong presidente ng Pilipinas. Ay, uh, welcome na welcome po yan. Yeah. So, pwede po ba natin itas ang ating kanang kamay? Tayo po yung susumpa. Bago kayo magalala, harmless po itong kandang ito. Handa na po ba kayo? Handa na po ba? Ako'y isang tapat At totoong lingkot ng bayan Pabor o lagay o suhol Ay di ko pinapayagan Tapat ang serbisyo ko sa mamamayan Di ko ipinubulsa ang pera ng bayan Ipinagtatanggol ko ang mamamayang Pilipino, mga karapatan nila'y kinikilala ko, iginagalang ko ang aking kapwa-tao, ipinaglalaman ko ang dangal ng bayan ko. Kaway! Pagkat ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino, minamahal ko ang bayan ko, Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin Ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Kayo rin po ba? Minamahal ko bayan ko Tinutupad ko ang aking mga tungkulin Sinusunod ko ang kanyang mga alituntunin Wow, wow Sabay lang po kayo Simpleng simple, ganito lang po Ganito lang po Pagkat ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Sabay-sabay po tayo One, two, three, and Pagkat ako'y isang mabuting Pilipino Parang hindi po kayo sigurado Mayroon po yan Pwede po ba ulitin natin? Yung may conviction. One, two, three, and... Pagkat ako'y isang mabuti. Yan. Wow, wow, isa pa. Pagkat ako'y isang mabuti. Wow, wow, pwede po ba mas malakas? Come on. Pagkat ako'y... Salamat po. Mabuhay po kayo, mga babubuting Pilipino. Salamat po. Maari na po kayo maupo. Salamat po. Rock and roll to the world. Woo! Woo! Okay. Alam niyo po ba yung soiree? You know what a soiree is? You know, like when girls meet boys and then like, like a boy crosses the river and then, you know, meets a girl. Diba? So I went to this like soiree and then may namita kong cute na girl. <laughs> Medyo taga south siya. <laughs> um, kachat ko siya kagabi sa YM, sa Yahoo Messenger. 
Tapos, ano, feel ko naging super duper speechless niya. <laughs> Curious kayo kung ano yung sinabi ko sa kanya sa Yahoo Messenger? Are you? Hmm, hindi, mukhang hindi eh. I won't say it. De joke lang. Ang sabi ko sa kanya, roses are red. Violets are blue. One thing's for certain. God loves you. And I love you too. Kaya naging speechless. Pero mga 1am na yun, pero feel ko nakatulog. Anyway, so, yun. Ah. Pero gusto kong mag-promposal sa kanya. Ano yung, yung promposal? Proposal siya, pero prom. For the prom. Pero yun ang hirap eh. Oh, man, so, kasi, alam mo yun, parang, kinakabahan talaga ako. Hindi ko alam kung ano gagawin ko. Pagkasama ko siya, parang, wala. Parang, I'm nothing to her. Di ba? So, wala talaga. Kaya kinakabahan ako. Ano kaya ang pwede kong gawin? Meron naman akong um, things to bring, like flowers. Meron akong imported chocolate. Meron din akong... Um, Guitar, pero parang yung kulang ko po ata is inspiration. Hmm. Sigur, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, siguro kailangan ko ng inspiration. Siguro kailangan ko ng inspiration from Coro Illustrado. Hindi ko kaya sila. Oh, look at that! Here go the men in black. Wow. Siguro para ma-inspire ako na... Haranahin siya, di ba yung ano yun? Huwag mong naisin, lisanin. Ay, sintonado pa ako. Makapiling ka sa bawat sandali Walang isang saglit Na naisin sa iyo ay mawaglit Tani kong dalangin Manatili Sapat ang paghihingi Kaya ang buhay ko'y sa'yo Oh, 
Dear friends, let us welcome Mr. Toto Sorioso.
Diyos lamang mapapanatag. Sa Diyos lamang mapapanatag. Sa Diyos lamang mapapanatag. Sa Diyos lamang mapapanatag. Sa Diyos lamang Magandang gabi po at maraming salamat. Ngayon po nais kong anyayahan sa entablado ang isang award-winning singer-songwriter at acclaimed performer, soprano, Miss Lara Maigay. Palakpakan po natin siya. Hello, Toto. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Um, Toto will be singing something arranged by Mr. Mr. Marlon, Marlon Barnuevo. Composed by Mr. Noel Miranda. Originally recorded by Hangad. Ito po ang kantang Pananatili.
Ah. Grabe, no? Ang sarap pakinggan nung mga tugtuging ganun. Yung kaila Sir Jay Gomez at saka kaila Sir Jerry, Dur- Jerry Duran. Lalo lang, la- lalong-lalo na kung sobrang stressed mo kasi buong maghapon nakapila ka sa milk tea. Ay, no. <laughs> Pero, pera biro, so may yun eh, medyo. Eh, yun, di ba? Pero hindi nga, pag nakikinig ka sa mga ganong music, di ba, hindi mo talaga mapigilang may, may imagine ka na humuhuning ibon, o di ba, or sunrise. Naalala ko tuloy yung mga retreats ko, or recollections na inaattendan ko, lalong-lalo nung isa, nung, nung college ako, nung mga 2015, talagang, talagang tagus sa puso eh. Eh, kung narinig ko yung mga music na ganyan, tulad ng mga lods nila Father Arnel, o yung mga vespers nila, um, yun nga, nila Sir, Sir J. Eh, talagang mapapadasal ka kasi sobra-sobra talagang soulful. As in, sobra. Pero yun, siguro hindi rin magpapahuli yung musika kiesa na nagpapatugtog ng sacred chamber music. Ay, wait lang. May nag-message pala sa akin. Oh, pakisabi na i-promote yung bagong album ng Musika Kiesa. Malaki kasi yung reach pag Irwin Theater. Yung, ano yun? Alay kay San Ignacio. Get your copies now at your nearest Tanging Yaman store. Thanks po. Okay. Yun. Pero di ba? ibang level pa rin kung yung mga ganyan, instrumental. Pero baka mamaya, maganda din pala yung may lyrics din. Siguro, now is an opportune time for us to call someone. Like, legit, a composer. You want? Yes. Diba? Let's call on Father Manuling Francisco of the Society of the Jesus. Magandang gabi sa kanila, Romar. Good evening. Hi, Father. Kanina Grabe. bata ka, tumanda ka na ngayon. Ano po eh, mabilis na. po yung growth spurt ah, ko. Yung Tama mga katabi ninyo, eh. baka tumanda na rin since oh. the first part of the show. Apo, so, eh, kakahintay evening. po yan ng milk tea, Father. Ay, okay. um, Father, siguro nagkukwentuhan lang kasi kami ngayon, di ba? Uh, baka pwedeng ikaw din po, magkwento ka naman. Pero siguro, one minute lang, Father. Ah. One minute lang. Um, paano ka po nagsimulang mag-compose? Again, 1979, first year high school kami ni Norman Agatep dito sa mm-hmm. Atenea High School. At guro namin si Mr. Onofre Pagsanghan. Mm-hmm. Hinikayat kaming sumali sa Timpalak Awit pang Misa. Yes, at nalikha ng aming klase. Saan mo ako dadalhin? Ay. Na- Ay. Nalikha namin Somewhere. ang uh, hindi kita malilimutan. Oh. At mula noon po ay pinagpatuloy namin yung pagsulat ng mga awitin pamisa, Anima Christi, mm. Take and Receive, I Will Sing Forever, etc. Ang galing po. Noong high galing. school. Galing, Father. Ha? May 30 seconds ka pa. Uh, gagamitin mo pa? Anina, anina. Okay, sige po. Father, siguro, gusto niyo ba ng sample? May balak oh. pala. Ah, o oh, sige. Wala naman po, Father. Ikaw naman talaga. <laughs> sige, okay. Father. Father, pwede magpasample ng mga music nyo? Kasi parang sige. nakaka-inspire talaga eh. Yung mga naririnig namin na, ano? Sige, Father. Good luck. Salamat, Romar. God Mamaya, bless. lolo ka na. Uy, wow. Bukas palad out of thin air.
It was a poem that was given to me by a woman who was dying. She was dying of cancer, I think, sa Dapit Hapon. And then she wrote a poem about the, yeah, Dapit Hapon, the twilight and uh, the twilight of her life, really, no? And, uh, and she asked, she said, could you make it into a, a piece? So I wrote the piece, and then I sent it back to her. And one month later, she was dead. Now that, it's a very beautiful song, that one. Tuing da kung da pitapun minamas dan kung lagi ang paglubog ng araw hudyat ng takip silim ganyan ng aking buhay Kung may dilim ang buwan Hihiwat sa baybayin Sa pagsapit ng dilim
Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a warm welcome to Miss Bituin Escalante.
nandito na naman kayo. Thank you, Miss Between Escalante, for that song of healing and of love. Ay. Uh, between that segment and the next segment is me. So, actually, wala na talaga akong masabi pa. Gusto niyo ba rin ma-feel yung feeling ko? Kasi ganito. Gagawin, speaking of between, we will make this night even more star-studded. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's now call on the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Manila, His Eminence Luis Antonio, Cardinal Tagle. Cardinal... Uh, uh, ano ba ang pangalan ni Sir? <laughs> ah, Sir Lalino. Medyo kinakabahan po ako, Cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, uh, first time kong kumausap talaga ng Cardinal in my entire life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ngayon din lang ako makakausap ng katulad mo. Oh my gosh! Kinikilig ako. Uh, <laughs> Cardinal, um, I ah, yes. think this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Can I take a selfie with you? Uh, with yeah. the audience? Uh, oh, sige. Oh, oh sige. sige. Uh, smile lahat ng mga nasa likod, ha? Uh, pwede kayo mag-peace. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, one more. One, two, three. O, oh, yung mga nasa taas, ngiti! Okay. Uh, okay Sige. ka, ha? Yes, I uh, thank you. Thank you po. Okay ka rin po, Cardinal. Uh, thank you rin. Uh, thank, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you po. Um, Cardinal, kwentuhan po tayo ng saglit lang. As in, super duper saglit lang po. Um, kwentuhan niyo po ako kung um, nanak... Parang nabalitaan ko na nakakompose daw po kayo ng kanta nung nasa San Jose Seminary po kayo. And then you have memories with Father Ontiveros? Uh, sabi mo sandali lang? Opo, opo. That was a very short question, Cardi. <laughs> Kasi memories eh. Uh, uh, hindi, hindi naman ako gumawa, gumagawa ng kanta. Ah, uh, pero si Father Ontiveros uh, was rector of San Jose Seminary. And later on, and was professor also at, at La, the Loyola School of Theology. At isa siya sa mga kumilos nga para sa implementation of Vatican II. No? The local church. Ano. Kaya ang marami niyang naging uh, collaborators ay seminarians oh. and the Jesuit scholastics. Kami yung tagasulat ng mga lyrics. Ah. Uh, so siya naman ang gumagawa ng music. Oh. Tapos si Father talagang may puso para sabi niya yung mga kanta niya mas magandang mapakinggan kung ang kumakanta ay mga simpleng tao at mga dukha. Mm. Yan. Kaya mga seminarians tapos mga uh, mga lay collaborators yung sa barangka, opo, sa pansol opo. Yan, yan ang aming uh, mga nakakasama noon. Nako, salamat po, Father, oh. sa mga uh, um, cardinals, sa uh, mga insights nyo po. Talagang may mga natutunan kami, di ba? <laughs> yeah. so, marami, marami pa, marami pa kung gusto mo. Um, ano. uh, pero text na lang kita. Uh, I'll get uh, your number uh, later, uh, uh, Cardinal. Uh, 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 pero ito, uh, ha, gusto, kong, gusto kong sabihin sa lahat, no? Gusto kong sabihin sa lahat. Si Father Rontiveros was not only a, a talented person, ano, no? Uh, He was very prayerful at sa music niya lumalabas ang kabutihan ng kanyang puso. He was a very good and saintly person. Kaya, yun. Kaya, Father. Kaya, ay, kaya uh, Cardinal, sample. Gusto uh, niyo po ng sample? Pwede naman po. You have the stage tonight. Uh, you wanna <laughs> hear a <laughs> Cardinal sing? Uh, you wanna hear a Cardinal sing? <laughs> Ah, wow, wow. Oh, pero, pero, pero hindi lang ako mag-isa. Ay, tayo po? Oh my gosh. <laughs> pero hindi po tayo nakapag-practice, Cardinal. Eh. Hindi Medyo... rin naman ako talaga nakapag-practice. Ay, eh. no, okay Dito lang po sa, yan. Nalate po ano, ko sa milk tea ko ah, talaga. Eh. Ano, ano. Ah, tsaka hindi naman ako talaga singer. Eh. Ganun, Ay, mga, eh, okay lang ano. po yan, Cardinal. Ah, pero para, si Cardinal. para kay, kay uh, Father Ronti, tapos naging students ko na itong sina Father Manuling, si Father uh, Arnel Aquino. So, ah, uh, hmm. Ako'y buhay na saksi oh. dito sa 50 years ng, uh, 
Jesuit Music wow. Ministry. Wow, palakpakan natin si Cardinal. Sige, yeah. Cardinal! Um, dahil hindi tayo nakapag-practice, kayo na lang po ni Miss Lara Maige? Yes. Um, tulad na, oh. na nagbabalik sa stage. Nagbabalik. Cardinal, At, uh, Salamat. Ha? Yes, I'll see you later. Isang bago naming kanta, uh, siya. <laughs> Uh, bago ho namin kantahin ito, uh, mabuti na lang ito ang pinili ng uh, organizers kasi may memory ako nitong kantang ito. Eh. Uh, inarrange ito ni Father Ontiveros para sa isang concert na para maipakilala yung mga kanta. No? And I remember, ano, he was rushing to go somewhere else. Sabi niya, ito yung piyasa Ituro mo, it was the Barangka Choir, no? Babalik na lang ako. So, hindi ko alam kung ano, kung, ah, paano nyo ba gusto ito kantahin? Nabi, Bahala ka na. So, tinuro, tinuro, tinuro. Ano, nahirapan ako noon, pero nabuo rin. Three voices. And then dumating si Father. Habi ko, habi niya, pakinggan ko nga. Di, di, kinanta namin. Tapos nakita ko siya, umiiyak. in one corner. Sabi niya, paano ko nagawa yung music na yan? Paano ko nagawa yan? Siya mismo, yan gano, no? how selfless, how selfless. It was not music to prove something no, uh, of himself to the world, but really just to uh, contribute. No? At ito yun, yung kanta na yun ay Jesus na aking kapatid. No? Remember that. Jesus na aking kapatid, sa lupa nami bumalik. Iyong mukha'y ibang-iba, hindi kita nakikilala. Tulutan mong aking mata. Mamulat sa katotohanan, ikaw poon makikilala sa taong mapagkumbaba. Jesus na aking kapatid, tigil man ang iyong sabi.
call of death arise, bid me come to thee, and I may praise thee with thy saints forever. Hear me, Jesus, Jesus, I mean thy wounds that I may Daming customers kanina. Medyo napagod ako. Uy, nakasulat ah. You can play the piano. Oh, mm, pwede. Anyone can play the piano ah. Sige, why not? Arik ko. Ah, ano kaya? Ah, favorite ko. Ah. Hmm, okay. Sige, sige. Ah, hindi. Nakalimutan kayo yung next chord. Uh, A ba? A? Um, Father? Father Arnel Aquino of the Society of Jesus? Tama, tama po bang A? Oh, A nga, A nga. Oh, it's an honor for Father Arnel Aquino to be here with us. Nag-improve ka na iho, ano, grade 2 level na. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. <laughs> you have some words to share? Yes. My sisters and brothers, long before the younger choirs of JMM were born, there already was Tinig Barangka. Back in the 70s, Father Juanti's mass songs were first heard and sung in the chapels of Barangka, Marikina. And Tinig Barangka was one of the first choirs to sing, along, to sing them along with the Jesuit scholastics and the Josefinos doing apostolate there. Tinig Barangka has a very, very special place in our hearts. The Jesuits have always been able to rely on their help to sing for masses of ordination, first vows, Ignatius feast days, and yes, even in wake masses and funerals when our brothers are called home by God. Tinig Barangka, in other words, has always been there for us. Many choirs enjoy a place for regular rehearsals, but Tinig Barangka often scouts here and there for a place in the inn, so to speak. Many choirs now enjoy the blessings of CDs bearing their names, and Tinig Barangka has never produced a CD of its own. But sing in church and sing for the church they have done unselfishly, cheerfully, and faithfully. Sa tingin ko po, mga kapatid, sinasakatawan po ng Tinig Barangka ang panalangin ni San Ignacio. Naglilingkod po sila at nagbibigay ng walang hinahangad na kabayaran. Nagtiis po silang di alintana ang sakit ng loob pati sakit ng katawan. Nagsisipag po silang hindi humahanap ng mahabang pahinga. Paminsan-minsan nga, nag ensayo sila at kumakantang walang laman ng tiyan pero hindi naghahangad ng merienda. Mapaglingkod la, mapaglingkuran po lamang ang Panginoon at ang Eucharistia. 
Sa tinagal-tagal po ng panahon, hindi pa napaparangalan ang tinig barangka ni Minsan. Gayong sila ang pinakamatagal ng koro kapiling namin. Kaya kung mamarapatin po ninyo, nais ko po silang bigyang parangal sa gabing ito. Nanlilimus po ako sa inyo ng isang masigabo at umatikabong palakpakan para sa minamahal namin tinig barangka. Karamihan po ng miyembro ngayon ng Tinig Barangka ay hindi pa po ipinapanganak nung una itong buuin. Pero may dalawa pong ikangay haligi ng Tinig Barangka. Sa simula't simula pa, nariyan na po sila, first generation members. Hindi po nila alam na pararangalan sila ngayong gabi. Pero karapat dapat lamang po dahil pareho silang walang kaparis ang katapatan at sipag sa loob ng maraming maraming taong nagdaan. Kaya mga kaibigan, isa pong dakilang pasasalamat at pagpaparangal sa minamahal naming sina Ate Trece Laurente at Kuya Arnold Pancho. To present a special recognition for Tinig Barangka, may I call on the Director of Jesuit Music Ministry, Mr. Lester Mendiola. Hello. Basahin ko lang po yung citation. Jesuit Communications Foundation Incorporated gives a special citation to Tinig Barangka as a token of our profound gratitude for their invaluable contribution to Jesuit music. Given this 13th of June in the year of our Lord 2019 at Henry Lee Irwin Theater in Ateneo de Manila. Signed yours truly and Father Nono Alfonso, Director, Executive Director of Jesuit Communications. Thank you very much, Father Arnell. Also, also performing is um, with, with Father Eduardo Onteveros. The first Himig Jesuita um, album was released in 1981 to celebrate 400 years since the arrival of the Jesuits in the Philippines. Working with Father Honti at that time were second generation Jesuit composers. Fathers Nemike, Fruto Ramirez, and Dani Isidro. In 1994, these Jesuit com composers came together to produce the second album of Himig Hesuita, featuring fathers Arnel Aquino, Maniling Francisco, and Nemike. They have brought together the choir that would include such voices as fathers Junjun Bores, Chris Dumadag, R.B. Hizon, and Peter Pohol. With Himig Hesuita too, the core group of Himig Hesuita was formed. Since then, Himig Jesuita and friends, joined by lay companions, has also done its part in developing local music ministries through the many workshops on liturgical music given by our Jesuit composers with the addition of younger composers. Fathers J. Boy Gonzalez, Ro Atilano, Erwin Arandia, and Jesuit scholastic Dom Bulan. They have participated in various JMM anthologies and the Ministry of Healing. And they continue to sing, not as professional singers, but as music ministers for our Lord.
traveled far and wide. <laughs> and somehow, Jesuit music still reaches me. Part, it's, Jesuit music is part of me in perhaps the same way it's already been a part of your life as well. Jesuit music has continued to evolve throughout these 50 years, not just in the Philippines, but around the world as well. Ano pa kaya yung nasa future nito? Friends, let us welcome the Executive Director of Jesuit Communications, Father Emmanuel Alfonso of the Society of Jesus. A memory from a not-so-distant past. At the wake of Father Eddie Ontiveros, I was still a seminarian at that time and was part of the choir then. Looking at the crowd during that wake of people who were family, friends, colleagues, but more importantly of people who were touched, influenced, inspired, changed, perhaps even converted by the music of Father Eddie, a thought dawned on me. Before he started writing Filipino liturgical songs, everything was in Latin, the mass, the songs. But of course, very few knew Latin, certainly not the mass of church goers. I remember my father who lived through that time singing, Orimus Cobiscum. He was merely, of course, mouthing something he memorized from the mass, but did not really have a clue what it meant. He, of course, meant Dominus Vobiscum, which means the Lord be with you. That was how it was for many of the faithful at that time. And the great import of that was, if the Mass is the highest form of prayer, then many at that time, because of Latin, could not really speak to God. And neither could God speak to them. And yet with Vatican II and Father Honti, with a mass now in the vernacular, as well as the liturgical music, suddenly, radically, we could now talk to God in our prayer in the mass. And God started speaking to us in our own language. For me, this is the great contribution of Father Eddie Hontiveros and the Jesuit music ministry with their music our relationship with God has truly been enriched. Indeed, their music has become the soundtrack of our relationship with our loving God. And so it is only right, my dear friends, to celebrate 50 years of making music, of being God's instruments in the faith life of many of us. We, of course, would like to thank all of you here for patronizing our music all these many years. Our heartfelt gratitude as well goes to our musicians. Palakpakan po natin sila. They have partnered with us these many years. We also would like to thank our benefactors and sponsors for believing in us. On a personal note, I would like to thank Mr. Lester Menjola. Lester. He is the lay Jesuit music ministry director, and we thank him for staging this concert. Thank you, Lester. And finally, even as we celebrate this milestone year, we would like to appeal for your continued patronage and support. With a digital age, it has become harder and harder for us to produce our music. Songs have become cheap and piracy has been rampant. Although ours is a ministry, still of course we have to pay our electric bills. Ito lang po ang mahal-mahal ng Irwin. Ayaw kaming ilibre ni Father Jet. My dear friends, please help us sustain our ministry, therefore, so we can continue to serve you, our God, our Mother Church, 
the next 50 years. Indeed, so we can sing forever. Thank you. Jesuit music has been perhaps part of your life and part of my life too. It has, it has witnessed its, your joys, your sufferings, and everything else in your life. But tonight is not just about my story. Tonight is also about your story. Your story of how Jesuit music has touched your lives. Of how you saw Christ in everything in our music. So therefore, tell your story to the person beside you. Tell your story to the person around you, to the people around you. Even tell your story outside after this program. Tell it to someone who perhaps need a little bit of music or Christ in their life.
Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Binintuan celebrating 50 years of Jesuit music. Let us give a resounding applause to our choirs for this evening's gala. Bukas Palat Music Ministry. Hangat Music Ministry. Himig Jesuita and Friends. Toro Ilustrado. Pansol Choir. Tinig Barangka. And our musical director, Miss Ana Capita Abileta Piquero. Our concert narrator, Mr. Romar Chuka. Our Vespers instrumentalists, Mr. Jay Gomez and Mr. Jerry Duran. Our house orchestra, Musica Chiesa, led by Mr. Michael Bulaong. Let us welcome again our special guests, Mr. Toto Surioso and Miss Lara Maige. <laughs> Making their way to the stage, Mr. Noel Cabangon and Miss Bituin Escalante. Our beloved Jesuit composers, Father Arnel Aquino and Father Manoling Francisco. Let us all thank the special participation of his Eminence Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle. <laughs> Dear guests, thank you again for watching Ginintuan, celebrating 50 years of Jesuit music. We invite you to journey with us as we continue our ministry of serving the Lord in faith and in love through music and prayer.